When you woke up, you saw your daughter Jasmine was sleeping peacefully. You smiled at her and kissed her forehead. Then you slowly got up from the bed and went to take a shower. After a few minutes, you came out after taking a shower. You were feeling so relaxed. When you saw the time, it was past 7. Ah, uh, Jasmine classes will start from 8.15 am so you went near her and woke her up and quickly made her to get ready for school. You and Jasmine was eating your breakfast. Suddenly Jungkook came and sat on a chair and started eating his breakfast without talking anything. After a few minutes, he immediately got a call so he took it. Keep the presentation and meeting papers ready. I don't want any mess like last time. I will be there within 10 minutes so don't be late. Then he hanged the call. Okay, I need to go for my work now as he got up and was about to go. But Appa, I thought I will go to school with you. I don't have any time for this and all. I need to go. Then he went for his work. Umma, I thought I will go to school with Appa but he just went for his work, she said while crouching. Baby, don't be sad. Appa is having important meeting today, that's why. Umma is there, right? I'll leave you at your school. Now smile, then Jasmine smiled at Wyan. Baby, you finish your breakfast, till then I'll check your books for today's classes. Then you went to check it. After you came back till then Jasmine finished eating her breakfast. Then you went to drop Jasmine in her school. Time skipped later that night. Jasmine just now finished her homework and now she is seeing her childhood photo album. She was so happy to see her childhood pictures and you were sitting near her and was seeing it. Umma, why Appa is only in one or two pictures only and not in all? Actually, Jasmine is because he is the one who took our pictures, that's why. Oh, I am looking cute and bubbly when I am small, right? She said while pointing at one of her pic. Baby, even now you look so cute and beautiful like an angel, you said while kissing her cheeks. Suddenly, Janku came inside and removed his coat and went to get freshed up. After a few minutes, he came back and laid on a bed. Appa, see what I have, my childhood album. Come, let's see together. I am really tired now because of my work. I need to sleep. But Appa, please come, let's see the photo album together. Can't you hear what I just told you? I told I'm tired, right? But no, you keep on irritating me, he said in a loud voice. Jungkook, why are you talking to Jasmine in such a loud voice? She just asked you to see the photos with her. Why and you two don't start? I'm not in a mood to argue with anyone now. I'm really stressed. I need to take rest. I will see the photos later if I get time. Then he turned to his side and slept. Jasmine became sad. Jasmine, don't be sad. He will see the photo album later. It's already 11.30 p.m. You sleep now. If not, you can't wake up tomorrow morning for your school. You make her lay on a bed and hugged her and slept. Time skipped after two or three days. Jasmine was playing with a friend Nick and you went to bring them snacks and juices. Jasmine, come let's play EXO game. Yeah, okay, but for that we need a paper. Wait, I'll go bring some paper and come. But here's some paper. Come let's play. Then he took some paper which was on a bed and started playing. You came back with snacks and juices and a blanket and you were telling some stories to them. After a few minutes, your phone rang. When you saw the number, it was Nick's mother. So you took it. Hello, Wayan. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you?
I'm fine. Can you do me a flavor? Yeah, sure. What is it? Can you bring Nick to the bus stop, which is nearby your house? Actually, I was coming to your house to pick up Nick, but I got hurt in my leg and I'm not able to walk properly. Can you bring him here? Yeah, sure. But are you okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better. It's just a small wound, nothing serious. Sorry for disturbing you. There's nothing to disturb me and by saying sorry, you're making me a stranger. Can't I do a small help for my best friend, huh? Why and it's not like that? Can you bring Nick soon? Yeah, sure. I'll bring him soon there. Don't worry. Take care. Thanks, why and then you hang the call. Nick, come let's go to your Uma. But auntie, Uma told that she'll come here to pick me up. Yeah, she was but just now she called me and told you to bring to nearby bus stop. There she is waiting for you. Come let's go. Okay auntie, bye Jasmine. He waved his hand towards Jasmine. Bye Nick. Jasmine, till then you read some book or play something. I'll come back within 10 or 15 minutes after leaving Nick. Okay, Uma. Then you and Nick went from here. After 5 minutes, Jungkook came and was searching for his file. Suddenly, he found it. When he took it to check if everything is alright, he saw some EXO game played in it. Who has done this? Jasmine, I know it's you who have done this. It's your work, right? No, Appa, it was Nick. Just shut up. Don't blame anyone else for your mistake. Appa, I'm not blaming anyone. It was also Nick mistake too. It's just a paper. Why are you taking it seriously? Suddenly she felt a tight slap on her cheeks. These days you have become very naughty. Do you think it's just a paper? No, it's a very important meeting paper. Why am I wasting my time with you? I have more important work than this. Then you went from here. Jasmine started crying. You came back and saw Jungkook. Jungkook, you are here at this time. Do you need something? But without telling anything, he just went away. When you came inside the bedroom, you saw Jasmine crying. So you went near her and made her sit on your lap. Baby, why are you crying? Do you get hurt? You were searching in Jasmine's hands and legs if she got hurt somewhere. Actually, Umma, Appa slapped me. Why Jungkook slapped you, baby? What you did? I didn't do anything. Actually, Nick and I was playing EXO game, but he took some paper which was on a bed without knowing it was Appa important meeting paper. When he came here to get his file and saw the mess in his paper, and he started to hell at me. I told him that it's not my mistake, it's Nick's mistake too, but he slapped me. Umma, why Appa don't behave nice to me? Don't he loves me? Baby, don't cry, you said while wiping her tears. Appa loves you so much but he's stressed because of his work, that's it. Don't take it seriously, baby. See what I bought for you, your favorite chocolates. Come, let's watch some movie. Then you both started watching a movie. From the day onward, Jasmine didn't eat her food properly at all. Even she lost interest in everything. The girl who was always happy is sad now and Wyan is worried about Jasmine. You try talking with her but she is not listening to you.
time skipped after a few days. As you came inside, you saw Jasmine was shivering. So you quickly went near her and checked her. She was having very high fever. At that moment, you don't know what to do by seeing her. So you quickly took her in your arms and went to nearby hospital. Jungkook is in a business party now and he was enjoying it. Suddenly you called him to tell him about Jasmine. After two times he didn't took your calls at all. Then the third time he took your call. Why and you know I am in an important business party. I told you not to disturb me right? Why I keep on calling me? Jungkook actually Jasmine till then Jungkook cutted her. What happened to her? Again she did some mischief. God, why this girl is like this? Jungkook, Jasmine didn't do anything. Actually she is admitted in a hospital. Can you give me some money? They are asking before admitting her. And please come here. I need you now. What? I can't come there and all. You think I should come there leaving this important business party and don't keep on calling me. The party is going on. I don't want to spoil my mood now. He said in a loud voice and hang the call. As the party was going on, the reporter asked questions to Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter, how did you become so successful? Is there any secret behind this? Can you share it with us? There's nothing secret, but one thing I want to say to you all, I'm here at such a place, it's only because of my daughters. After my wife dead, I was broken, but my daughter were there like a pillar to me. They supported me a lot. My daughters are angels to me. I love my daughters so much. Here they are. Then his both daughters came and everyone was clapping. After hearing this, Jungkook thought what he did was wrong. He didn't treat Jasmine nice at all. I need to go to the hospital now. I don't know what happened to Jasmine. Then he quickly got up and went to nearby hospital to his house. Time skipped. Jungkook saw Dwayne was keeping a hand on her head and was looking down sad. So he quickly went near her. Is Jasmine on right? Where she is now? She is there inside the ICU room. Jungkook was looking at Jasmine through the ICU glass window. Jungkook, you told that you can't come. Why did you come here now? Why and please don't argue now. Jungkook, I am not arguing with you. I am just asking. Till then Jung doctor came. Is Jasmine alright doctor? Yeah, she is absolutely fine. I think she haven't ate her food properly. That's why she, ha she has become weak. But now nothing to be worried. She is good now. Just make her eat her food and medicines on time. That's it. She is unconscious now. She may wake up within 10 minutes. Then you both may talk with her. Excuse me. I need to go to see my other patients too. Then the doctor went away. Then you both went inside the ICU room. Janko came and sat near Jasmine and held her hand. Jasmine, I know I didn't treat you properly at all. I was rude and cold towards you. I didn't give you love and care like other fathers do. I'm really sorry for that. Why and even I didn't treat you properly too. I'm really sorry. I know you both will never forgive me for what I have done. I know Jasmine hates seeing my face. Before she wake up, I will go from here. I just came here to check on Jasmine. Okay, I am leaving. As he caught up and was about to go, till then Jasmine hold Jungkook hand. Appa, how can you leave me and Uma like this and go? Don't you love us? I love you both more than myself, but I'm really sorry for behaving rude towards you both. It's because of my work pressure. Please forgive me. I can't live without you both. 
Appa, I am happy. At least now you have realized your mistake. I have already forgave you. Jungkook, I know you didn't do this purposely. I know you were stressed due to your work. I too forgave you, Jungkook. I love you both. I love you, man, Appa. I love you, Jungkook and Jasmine. Appa, we can go somewhere for the summer vacation. Yeah, we can go before that you recover fully. I will recover fully if my umma and appa is there with me. We are always there for you. You both hugged Jasmine tightly and kissed her forehead. 